On a à peu près 350 épaves de recensés près des îles. On en connaît à peine, à peine une quinzaine. Il y a beaucoup d'épaves qui sont trouvées grâce aux pêcheurs. Et alors, comment tu l'as découvert, toi, l'épave? On est en train de pêcher au salut, puis mon salut a pris dedans. Hello. Chaque coup, tu trouves un, un épave, c'est une page d'histoire. J'ai hâte de voir. <rire> A lot of ancestors from the islands came from those uh, shipwrecks. My grandfather was wrecked here in, uh, in 1891. Aunt Rhoda's house is made from salvage timber. The church in Old Harry was built from salvage timber. So in many ways, the study of the shipwrecks is a study of the history of the Magnum Islands. I've always been interested in the emotional side of these shipwrecks. It helped me for the first time think about what's it like to wash up on a shore, be alive. This is home. You're there. I have an anchor from a shipwreck. I just walk the beach and I'm still waiting to find my first gold coin. I haven't found one yet. <laughs> Most coins in a hole, five. My wife says it's a, an obsession, not a hobby. A friend of mine, Charles Cormier, he bought himself a magnetometer. That would be seven million dollars on this. Il y en a pas beaucoup aux îles qui ont ça à côté de la maison. Ça, ça, c'en est du bois d'épave, ça ici. Ça, c'est du chêne d'épave. Moi, moi, ça m'a pris deux ans pour faire ça ici. Il parle au-dessus de 100, 200 000 morts. Il y en avait au-dessus de 100 000. Plus des défenses, j'en ai peut-être une centaine. Là. And if you uh, track down divers out there looking for treasure on the Magdalen Islands. Divers have tracked me down. As far as treasure, we're not in the Caribbean. But again, it depends on what you call treasure. À un moment donné, je vais m'investir beaucoup plus à fond parce qu'on a des, des trésors euh, inestimables ici. I know where there's a couple of good treasures at Magdalene, but I won't tell them. I know she's there. I got her coordinates, everything. I know where she is. <laughs>